Are you curious what stats actually benefit your character? Do you know what every primary stat does and which ones you are looking for? If not, this video is going to be for you. We're going to go ahead and we're going to break down every single stat. We're going to talk about what classes are going to utilize this and which stats kind of prioritize on your account depending on what type of player you are. All right, so at this point, you're probably getting a little tired of seeing this screen, uh, and that's okay. I wanna talk about a few things that are very, very beneficial in the community, and that's understanding the stats that you're utilizing. So you do have a main primary stats, stats, and depending on who you are and where you are, you need to know where to get those. So before, actually, we let's break this all the way down for you. If you're curious on where to get to your stats, uh, follow, follow along. You'll notice that if I go up to the top right hand corner, I click on my backpack and then on the above the equipment tab here, I can click on this little person. You'll see that it is highlighted because I am depressing the button. When I let go, this brings up your stats. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, John, I don't need this much of a basic breakdown, but you would be surprised. Some players do need this extra assistance and I'm more than happy to provide this to you. Uh, I am going to go ahead and leave myself off of the screen for just a little bit here as I talk about some of these lower tier uh, stats, and then I'll bring myself back when we get out that way and my big head's not in the way. So let's go ahead and let's start with willpower. What is willpower? What do you need to be utilizing this for? Willpower increases your potency and your resistance. Now, in this case, mine is at 139. This increases my potency by 13 and my, my resistance by 13 and my combat rating by 139. It is linear. All these stats here are linear. These are all gotten usually from stats on your primary gear. Notice that I have fortitude and vitality there. Uh, and on this one, I have fortitude and strength. These are all linear stats that get applied to your main stat bar here. And these are all just automatically equate to your combat rating. So by stacking one or more than the other, you're just increasing your combat rating. Willpower is going to be one that you use for potency and resistance. Potency being the what you need to actually land debuffs and CC. So if you go over here and you look at potency, compared against enemy resistance to modify the duration of all harmful effects. Your potency is lower than resistance of your monster and your current activity difficulty reducing duration by 14% against players are reduced by 50%. What this is saying is if I were to do a dot damage, poison damage uh, from my character, um, my potency is not high enough to actually land and increase the duration. It's actually gonna decrease because I am not focusing on potency because I am a demon hunter. But for those of you who are not a demon hunter, you need to know what potency is, and this is how this works for you. This allows you to essentially land your debuffs on a target and extend the duration of the target. Resistance is the counter balance to that to where it actually helps you not get CC'd or get some sort of the debuff placed on you. Next one we're gonna talk about is gonna be Vitality. Vitality is one of the best ones in the game to really talk about, and that's because it increases your life and your combat rating, obviously. It increases your combat rating directly. We've already talked about this, but increasing your life is amazing in this game. Every single character needs life. Uh, obviously, without life, there is only death. That comes next. So, vitality is one of those skills and abilities, so to speak, that needs to always get stacked as high as possible, depending on however way you can do this, whether it's legendary gears, whether it's uh, normal charm or normal gems, even if it's some skills that modify your life temporarily, uh, it's definitely very, very important as a character to be running Vitality. Next we're going to talk about is going to be Fortitude. What is Fortitude? If you guys did not see my armor pen video, go check that out. And it'll help you break down a few of these stats and together individually. But Fortitude is increased armor by 96 in this case, and armor pen by 96 in combat rating directly. So Fortitude literally just... Think of this one as, okay, how much damage or crit damage am I going to do with Fortitude and how much damage mitigation am I going to do? Uh, for those of you who are unaware, armor does mitigate some damage. It reduces all damage taken and increased block amount. So this means at the first part of this, it reduces damage, incoming damage. And then if you do block, it increases the amount of damage that you are blocked or that you mitigate. So that is the armor side of, of Fortitude. The armor pin side of that is armor pin is just crit damage. So both of these stats tied together are very, very impactful, which is why you'll notice that um, Fortitude on a legendary skill or a legendary piece of gear it's actually pretty decent. It's not quite as great as whatever the, the stat is that the character needs, so to speak. So, for example, a demon hunter needs strength to do damage, whereas a wizard and a necro needs intelligence to do damage. So those would not jive the same. Um, but fortitude is very helpful because it does allow you to mitigate more damage and do crit damage. 
Next, we have intelligence. Now, it doesn't actually tell me what intelligence does, and that's because I don't have any intelligence. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, but that's because I'm a demon hunter. I don't need it. Uh, demon hunters do not scale at all with intelligence, and actually, we can't even equip gear that has intelligence on it because it's a useless stat when it comes to a DH. Because what we are looking for is strength. We're always looking for strength as a demon hunter, and that's because it increases my damage by 175. Um, and it just overall makes me do a lot more damage. And you'll see at the top here after the total calculations, um, it's because that strength directly works with this damage ability that, that allows me to do all this additional damage, as well as it allows these particular stats to all get boosted by resonance. Now, the next attributes we're gonna talk about is gonna be the secondary attributes. Now, these are not your primary, these are your secondary. So when you're looking at your residence, this is increased equipment base attributes, okay? Increases equipment base attributes. Now, the reason why I say this once again is because all these stats are in, are modified by your equip base equipment, okay? It's not modified by these. Keep that in mind. As far as your base attributes go, this is what re directly affects with your residence. Now, First, we have combat rating. Uh, we don't need to go too much into detail on this one. I think most people know the combat rating is just the overall um, rating of, of damage that you can do. If it is higher than the, the open world monsters, you do more damage. If it's lower, it'll actually pop up and tell you that you are getting X amount of damage mitigated. And that's very unfortunate and you really don't like it. Uh, you notice this a lot in the challenger situation. Armor, we kind of touched on it, but we'll touch on it again. And this reduces all the damage taken and increases the blocked amount. When you do get a block, um, it's very impactful. I did a study on it with my armor pin video where I kind of showed how much damage it does help you mitigate when it is blocked. I will do another study later where I'll say what, show you what it does when you have no armor versus when you do have armor as far as actually how much damage it actually helps you mitigate overall in general. Armor pin, as we move forward and we progress into the late game here, armor pin is gonna be extremely amazing because it is straight up crit damage. However, if you don't have a high damage amount, then your crit damage is gonna be absolutely useless and not do any good to you whatsoever. But armor pin, the easiest way to think of it is think of armor pin as crit damage. Potency, once again, like we talked about, is gonna be the resistance modifier. This is gonna be if you were trying to land a debuff on the opponent, if it's going to actually land, if it's gonna get extended, if it's gonna last a long time. Um, this also gets checked against their resistance. Notice that I have stacked my resistance pretty high on my character, and that's because as a demon hunter, I don't need potency. I do want to have resistance though. That way I can resist some of those CC effects on me because that is what is going to destroy me in the later game. Now, we also have these accuracy ratings. We have all these additional attributes. Uh, there's a lot of them to kind of talk about. I think the biggest one we'll touch on here is magic find. This is the one that everyone gets caught up on in my opinion. This increases the chance for items dropped by monsters to be magic, rare, or legendary. Now, there's talk about if it's going to be a magic, a rare, or I don't, um, I mean, I, I have legendary gear equipped. I do think that this is how this works. Now, there's other people that, in theory, also say that magic find increases the stats that are acquired. So if it's going to be something that's a double-double, or something that's going to be um, like a triple-triple. So I, I don't personally think that's the case. I think magic find is literally just what comes out as um, your magic, your rare, and your legendaries. But this is something that we don't have 100% clarity on, so keep that in mind when thinking about magic find, because that is one that everybody, everybody debates on. Um, next, we have a few other stats here. Resonance is gonna be one of the main ones, which total resonance is 1400, increases all base attributes by the 70%. Obviously, this scales with this number right here. And like I said, this goes directly off of your legendary gear pieces. So definitely keep that in mind because the higher these go for your attributes, the higher your resonance impacts your character. Uh, like you saw when we went over those stats, the base stats actually modify a lot of these secondary stats. Um, one of the other more important ones to talk about is gonna be cheat death. This is a stat that is listed that I don't know that everyone's aware that you have is it's a granted chance to avoid death when killed. Um, and we reduced to one life instead. So essentially, when you receive a killing blow, I have 6% chance to not receive that killing blow and to actually stay alive. Uh, the higher you get this up, the better. Uh, obviously, we simulate this with our Paragon tree, but just imagine if you can simulate this even higher with gear. Um, you can get up to, I think it's 8% cheat death on every single piece of legendary gear. So if you were to do the math here, you could probably get potentially 48% cheat death if you were to get this on every single piece of gear. Uh, definitely keep that in mind. I have seen it proc and I've seen it happen and it could be extremely impactful for your character. Um, 
all these these stats on these additional attributes these all come and get based upon all the other gear that you have uh so definitely be aware of this be definitely be cognizant of this because when you go and you look at the magic stats under each legendary piece of gear that's essentially what we're talking about right now so we're talking about the magic stats uh now granted these are not all magic stats that are listed in the secondary attributes or additional attributes so to speak but most of these additional attributes these stats are coming from the magic section of your legendary gear and your set gear so definitely keep this in mind now you also have other modifiers that are going to get applied uh such as like the damage to enemies below uh there's cheap death there's um there's ones where it's maximum damage there's ones where it's uh movement speed depending on enemies around you there's a lot of modifiers that are actually listed but all these additional attributes get changed via whatever you get on this magic section over here on the on these pieces of gear so keep that in mind uh if you're ever curious if you've got like say for example you're like me and you don't remember all these magic stats that you have on all your pieces of gear you can come over here to the additional attributes tab and it'll kind of show you what you have a culmination of for your character and that's going to help you do a lot more damage and understand a lot more of the synergization of your builds so definitely keep that in mind when moving forward i'll go ahead and pull myself back up on stream and talk just generally about this whole entire process and why we went over those attribute stats now the reason why we went over these attribute stats is because people ask me all the time what stats do i need to be looking at and what stats do i need to be prioritizing as a demon hunter as a crusader as a necro as a wizard um the reason why we went through that is because with that talking about each base stat and more secondary stats it kind of allows you to understand fully what each individual one does and that way you can apply that to what your character does for example if you're someone who has a lot of debuffs you're going to want to definitely focus on the uh the willpower section of this to get the potency up right um so that's something to keep in mind because i can tell you until i'm blue in the face like, oh you want this stat and you want this stat um but if your play style is slightly different which it can be not everyone has to play each class the exact same so depending on your play style is really what stats you want to pick that is the big the big takeaway from this so to speak i'm a demon hunter and i need to focus just straight up damage so i'm going to focus on strength and vitality for my character if i was doing a trapping build as a demon hunter i'd be focusing on willpower and probably still strength would probably be it i wouldn't be focusing nearly as much on vitality i'd be really looking forward to getting the uh more potency that gets done because there are a few abilities that we can do that do burning and bleeding so having that potency will help that with doing more damage now that's about it as far as the uh demon hunter goes but there are other classes such as the crusader that has a lot of stuns a lot of uh, crowd control and the necro has the same type of ability where willpower is probably going to be second to none only to intelligence for them so they need to be able to do as much damage as possible and will get those cc procs lasted even longer especially if you are somebody who's interested in pvp content um, that's going to kind of do it for today's video. I hope this kind of helped you understand each basic attribute and also each con like each additional attribute because these all together make up all the damage stats for your character that allow you to do the most damage and just destroy your opponents. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.